Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Leanna. Please ignore the way I look. I It's like 8 o'clock in the morning here. I wanted to put out a really quick video regarding the new fee structure that Poshmark announced late yesterday afternoon. I'm not actually going to go into what the fee structure is. I will try and remember to link the blog down below so you can go and check it out yourself. I want to give you my reaction in a general sense. Poshmark announced this yesterday. We did get a tease about it at Poshfest during the uh, State of the Union keynote address. So we did know something was coming. They released it. Well, they announced it yesterday. They released it today on October the 3rd. Yeah, got my dates right. The overall impression is like it seems like it will save sellers money, meaning that we will not be paying 20%. It's a little bit less than that. I think the biggest, there's two big things that I really want to address. Number one is that they're putting some of the fees onto the buyer. So buyers will be paying an extra, whatever amount, like the sale is a $10 sale, they pay a dollar plus 5.99% on their total order, which means shipping and taxes and the whole bit. They're putting some of the fees onto the buyer. I think that could be troublesome. I don't know how buyers are going to react to that. I'm going to adopt a let's wait and see what happens. Right now, sales are not that fantastic on Posh US. There's been a lot of talk about how slow it is. So bringing it out now, I don't know if that's a good step. I understand that Poshmark does not want to lose money. So they want to reduce the fees for sellers because sellers have been bugging and asking and asking and asking for reduced um, fees because 20% is a lot. So this is their, their idea is, okay, we're going to reduce the fees for sellers, but we have to make up that difference. So we're going to put that onto the buyers. So Poshmark is a business, 100%. They are a business. They need to have their bottom line at a certain level, they're not going to lose money. They're just not. That's not what they are about. They are a business. Makes sense. So if they're giving the sellers a, a reduction on one hand, they have to make it up another way. They're putting it onto the buyers. I, again, I don't know how buyers are going to react. I know that it makes a difference if I want to purchase. I don't know if I want to pay an extra whatever. I think somebody did the math on a $42 item, which the old way would be ended up being about $50 in total, depending on where you live. That's American on the Posh US. Now it's more like $57, which is a bigger, it's a big jump. And, you know, they're, they're labeling this buyer fee as a, a buyer protection program, which they were getting for free anyway. The buyer protection has not changed at all. It is the same thing. It's just that buyers are now paying for it. I don't know how that's going to be. Honestly, my my reaction is I'm going to wait and see and see what it does to affect anything. With this coming to Canada, I think they're going to find out how it works on Posh US first, if it's going to be good for them or not. Because you know what? Poshmark does have a history of bringing things out and then taking them away. If you remember, if you're on Posh Canada a few years ago, Posh Canada decided that they were going to go and change our shipping and give us Pure Later, which was fantastic in my opinion, because it was much cheaper shipping. They brought it out with like no announcement, no nothing. All of a sudden it was here. It caused a lot of change, like a lot of chaos because people, you know what, they had to figure it out. And they didn't very quickly, two weeks later, went like that. It's done. So... Again, I'm going to wait and see how this works out, how it pans out, how the buyers react, etc. With the buyers paying more, I believe that it's the sellers are going to have to make up that difference, not Poshmark. So if I'm selling something for $10, and I, I just want to say $10 to make the math a bit easier, and a buyer has to pay more money for that $10, we might have to sort of absorb it and give that item for $8 instead, in a sense. So even though Poshmark is saying, oh, this is this is a potential for the sellers to make more money, to earn more money, they're not taking into account that it's the sellers, the frontline people, that are going to have to absorb the buyer's cost because buyers are not going to be purchasing 
their their money doesn't have as much pur purchasing power anymore. So they have to, you know, and I think we're going to have to offer a bit lower prices, which makes our earnings a little bit less. I don't think buyers are going to be paying more. I think that we're going to have a lot of more lower offers coming out that at least to begin with, for sure. And I don't know if you're just a buyer on Poshmark, if you're even aware of all this happening until you go to buy something and all of a sudden you have an extra eight or $10 or whatever it is charged to you. So I don't know how that's going to work. Okay, so the, the second thing I want to talk about is this Posh Pass, I think it's called. And it is a shipping program that they're, it's in beta right now. They're, they're bringing it out where closets will have this program in place and the buyers would only pay $5.95 in shipping. And right now, between today and December 31st, Poshmark is picking up the tab for that. Sounds good, right? Now... To me, I'm thinking, okay, so this is a program that you're going to be bringing out that sellers can buy into. So there's another money-making thing for Poshmark. And I like the idea of reduced shipping and not having to pay for it, but I think depending on what the program will cost and how much you sell, whether or not it's going to be good for you. And honestly, if you... If it sort of makes more sense for somebody that sells hundreds of items a month and they can afford it, that's great. But for somebody that maybe only sells 50 items a month, maybe it's not worth their while, but you know what, they also will be more pressured to offer a shipping discount. So therefore it's gonna cost those middle to smaller sellers more money to actually sell on Poshmark because now they're gonna be pressured into offering a shipping discount. I, when I list things, I do take into account shipping discounts. It's something that I build into my prices. I'm aware that people like shipping discounts, so therefore I do offer them. So it's not gonna affect me in a sense. I am very curious what this program will cost. I, I, I don't know. It's like every time you turn around, it's gonna cost you more to list on Poshmark. So I don't know, I'm, I'm honestly just going to sit back and absorb everything today and adopt a wait and see. I'm going to wait and see what's going to happen. I think we have to keep in mind that this new fee structure is benefiting Poshmark, period, which it should. They're a business. I understand that. But you have to remember, they're not doing this for us sellers. They're not doing it for the buyers. They're doing it because it makes sense for their bottom line. Will it have a, a positive you know, impact on my business? It might, it actually might. I'm not gonna say that it won't, I won't be totally negative. Um, the idea of paying less in fees is really good and I like that, so we'll see what happens. That's, you know what, that's what I can say because you don't know. You don't know how it's gonna affect you. I know other platforms have brought out similar things that did not work well, so we'll see, we'll see. I'll give it a couple weeks, I'll come back and I will give you a different reaction maybe. So anyway, I wanted to hop on real quick and tell you about that and talk about it a little bit. I will be filming my search engine one with the coat. I will be doing that, but it might not now be out until Saturday, just so you know. Anyway, everybody have a fantastic Thursday and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, wait, let me know what you guys think of the new fee structure too in the comments. Bye.